theming matter. So SmackDown was good. It was actually better than Raw, I think. It's always a hit and miss nowadays, which is fine. You have the dirt cheat who was interviewing Braun Strowman. So basically it was a challenge to have the Miz take on Braun. So yeah, basically John Morrison won that match. Or basically that match was won by Braun Strowman. So they're gonna have a match at Backlash, a handicap match for the Universal title, I guess. So you have a tournament with AJ Styles and Nakamura. This match was better than WrestleMania. Hell, even Backlash 2017. AJ won, obviously. I have no idea why they can't have Nakamura go over AJ Styles at least once. You have Bailey versus Charlotte Flair. Again, as much as I hated Charlotte Flair on NXT this past week, this match was actually very good. I really enjoyed the storytelling in this one. But Bailey won by a quick wall up so yeah obviously I knew that was gonna happen but this match was impressive the take team match Dolph Ziggler and Sonya Deville versus Otis and Mandy Rose obviously this match was gonna go to Dolph and Sonya I mean you already had Otis and Mandy go over a few times so and it wasn't a bad match to be honest with you you had Sheamus and Jeff Hardy for the tournament of the Intercontinental title. I was really hoping that Sheamus was going to win. Sheamus really hasn't had that Intercontinental Championship match run. And I mean, he was already U.S. Take Team World and WWE Champion. Intercontinental Championship would have made him a Grand Slam, but... Jeff ended up going over Triumph bullshit whatever. I'm not sure. You had a promo with the Forgotten Sons. This was a good show. I really enjoyed it. You know, Renee Young was there. Again, I thought she was in trouble for a few reasons, but yeah, this was a good show. Not great, but good. So, and uh, Backlash should be pretty good as well. But anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye.